Good afternoon, Long Beach Clarence, RV814, Romeo Victor Eagle, Aviation Information, Papa, 26 right. RV814, Romeo Victor, Long Beach Clarence, contact, ground for taxi. Ground for taxi, see you for me, Victor. Affirmative, 37X3. The flight 9856, towers on 120.5. Copy. The flight 9856. Lummi's ground, RV814, Omea Victor Eagle Aviation with Papa for 26 right. RV814, Romeo Victor, Lummi's ground, Romeo 26 right, taxi to the kilo. The kilo 26 right for me, Victor. Good afternoon, Long Beach Tower, RV814, Romeo Victor, short at 26 right, right down one departure. Well, Romeo Victor, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff, traffic on a mile and a half final. Clear for takeoff, 26 right, for Romeo Victor. All right, so they got a mile and a half final on uh, traffic out there. He comes in right there. He's just descending. I can see him right there. Got him, okay. So I got mixture rich, fuel pump on, gauges are in the green, and we have enough fuel. Left crosswind at the windsock. Well, I guess some left aileron in there. Wow, it already flies. Oh, oh yeah. Holy moly, so quick. I <laughs> uh, dialed the prop back to about 2,600 for the climb out. And I want to climb out at 90 knots. For Romeo Victoria, turn an early crosswind for a right down one, please. We're turning now for Romeo Victor. And for me, a good picture is going to depart northeast 91.605. And uh, tower for all aircraft now on 119.4. If everybody can change to 119.4, please. Okay. Number one for runway 26, right? Clear line if you can. A uh, correction, uh, you can continue. Right, the runway flaps up. We'll pull the power back to about 20. 526. Well, I'll call your descent for traffic to follow the 11 o'clock, 2 miles east on 1300 descending. We'll maintain our altitude. You'll call the descent. 2 0 echo. That's a 249 error. Please, you will do the thank you. Just continue for runway 26 right. Your number one, clear to land. Autopilot engaged. 26 right. I just engaged the autopilot. I hit the exterior. 11 o'clock, 1 mile. So now I can steer with the heading off on the 900 deck. Look for traffic, 26 right, clear to land. 182 0 echo. Yeah, autopilot is. Confirm you on frequency. Tower with your 2 0 tell. Helicopter 2 Sierra Hotel, pad 4, 3 or 2, clear to land. Pad 3, clear to land, 2 Sierra Hotel. And was somebody else trying to call Long Beach Tower? Tower Police 29, we're just south of the tower, like the south ground of the police pad. Police 29, you can go direct if you like, lining up with police ramp will be at your own risk, wind 2107. All right, 29, go on direct, thanks. You have little disparency between airspeed indication on Garmin and here. Oh, yeah. Little disparency. Oh, yeah. That's a, not a very good oh, instrument. We want to send, it's uh, a backup. Uh, backup. Yeah, backup, that's right. And two Sierra, if you have them in sight, you can just maneuver to follow them and you can continue your descent now. We'll follow them and descend to Sierra. RV4, Romeo Vector, frequency change approved. See for me, Vector. And anybody else trying to call Lummi Star?
and just keep it coming around. Yeah, I'm, the airplane is very fast, so I have to work ahead of him to... We can do this. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, almost what? About 45 degrees. Very maneuverable. I will make a picture you have control. I have the airplane. Well, I just put the autopilot on and I hit okay. altitude hold. Two minutes, 14 so it's going to hold it at 5,200 feet now. Yeah. You see our ground speed now? Wow, 182 knots. But we got an 11 <laughs> knot uh, wind coming mostly from the tail. It actually is only a five, uh, five knots on the tail, but uh, it picks it up real quick. Uh, I found that today is a little bit windy day for comparing to Vancouver's weather. Yeah. So is it common weather for summer um, afternoons? Um, uh, you know, down at this altitude, there's a lot of thermals breaking off. So that's the bumps that you're feeling out here. But there's a little bit of wind coming off of those mountains. In this instance, we've got mountains to our way out there to our right that are, uh, Approved. the wind is turbulating Approved. over those, so you'll feel it a little bit more. And what is the maneuvering speed of the RV-10? It's about uh, pretty much 157. Right about one, uh, indicated, oh, about 155 indicated. Uh, how far have you traveled this, with this airplane? How what? Oh, how far have you uh, traveled? Uh, we've flown up to Oregon, to, uh, back to uh, Independence, Oregon, and a couple, uh, actually a little north of there, Scappoose, Oregon, we've flown up there. Uh, it's well, up by Portland. Uh, are you involved in the flight training? Like, are you, are you providing instructions? No, no, no. I just fly for fun. Oh, jump is way wow, 2,000 hours. That's impressive. Well, that's over a couple of years, so... <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> that's impressive uh, amount of hours and experience, 2,000 hours. Uh, I rarely see private pilots. Are you a private pilot? Yes, I'm a private pilot, have instrument rating, helicopter and glider rating. Wow, that's amazing. So that's an RV-10, and that's an amazing airplane. I, that's my first flight. My uh, that's my first flight, and uh, wow, it's so impressive. Uh, in RV-10, I yeah, never expected it to be that fast and generally. that responsive. We are now in the South California, near Los Angeles, and that's pretty like foggy day. It's not a fog; it's more like a smoke. But I guess it's a common uh, occurrence on the warm day. Yeah, the haze. Uh, hey, haze, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's more, it's not so much smoke as it is moisture from the uh, ocean coming in. And it will come in and push all the way against the mountains. And so sometimes it gets very hazy. But typically, as, it, as they've cleaned up the air with uh, air pollution regulations and it's uh, gotten much better. Thank you, thank you so much for taking me up. Oh, my pleasure. It's my, uh, and I, I've never flown in uh, California, in South California. Most of my flying is in Canada. Right. And, and yeah, it's, the views here are amazing. You have more space, actually, in the uh, lower mainland in the Vancouver near the area. Mountains are very close to each other, so we do mountain flying courses there right. to be able to fly mountains in the valleys. We'll get ATIS for Long Beach to make sure that uh, we have current information. One niner, up number two niner eight eight. ILS only three zero approaching use only three zero. Successful two six right in tower frequency one one hour point four. Advise ready request. All departing aircraft request a contact clerk delivery prior to taxi on one one eight point one five. Good position and departure point. I feel now from my two six left clear band and drop. Clear band and drop uh, number three. I think you said. Oh yeah, traffic in sight. No problem. Yeah, num you're number two. They're uh, passing the numbers now. Number two, check in sight. November 6, 360, Alpha 1, Crash Midfield, Letter Book 2000, Letter Book 2006. Midfield, Letter Book 2000, 6 Alpha. Landing, we've got our seat backs upright. We're going to turn our landing lights on. I have wigwags, so I'm going to turn those on. 
Fuel tank on the fullest. We are on the left tank, which is the fullest. Fuel pump is on. Mixture adjust, and I've already done that. Prop is fine where it's at. And ram air is closed. We are set for landing. And I just I need to make my call. Army Tower, RV 814, Romeo Victor, Fullerton Airport, 3,000 feet, 26 right, and we have Quebec. RV 814, Romeo Victor, Long Beach Tower, make straight in, runway 26 right. Straight in, 26 right, for Romeo Victor. Now we can go straight to the runway. That's most pleasant landing for me, actually, now in my airport, I'm also leaving with 26 right, 26 left, and 26 oh, right. I love, nice. I love this runway, straight in is always easier. Autopilot off. All right, take the autopilot off and we'll pull the power back. Still doing 186? Yeah, yeah we're cooking. Yeah, I'm, I'm so surprised how fast airplane flies. That's... November well, 2, Sierra, the echo traffic over we're slowing down down our RV the Queen Mary, pitch pitch east on 1,800 <laughs> That slows it down. Looking for a money. I'm looking for a money to Sierra Co. For the change proof, money to Sierra Co. Flap. Well, I just brought the flaps out of uh, trail, out of reflex and uh -huh. trail. RV4 Romeo Victor, uh, keep the speed up to the runway, runway 26 right, clear to land. Keep the speed up for Romeo Victor, clear to land 26 right. Cessna 60 Alpha, you can continue your descent to pattern altitude 1000, I'll call your base. But she base. wants me to go RV, fast, which is hard in this airplane to slow down. We'll so, and then uh, you call base. The best thing alpha. I found to do and that is to dive down low, low three contact pull the nose to slow down. Three contact ground, nine to go. Cessna 4 Sierra Papa, contact ground. Contact ground 4 Sierra Papa. Romeo Victor, turn off Kilo 3, contact him. Kilo 3 and ground for me, Victor. Southwest 1992. Let it roll out. Because I came in fast, it was a little tough to get it stopped. No sense of wearing out the brakes. Just actually to the next one. Kilo 6327. Long Beach ground, RV 814, me, Victor. Kilo 3, taxi Eagle. RV 814, me, Victor. Long Beach ground, taxi Eagle, via Kilo. Eagle, via Kilo for me, Victor. All right, we'll clean it up. So today we did a beautiful flight on this RV-10. This is the RV-10 built in 2012. Well, it's impressive. It looks impressively and it flies even more impressively. We did, uh, like, I mean, our speed was like about 182 knots. That's crazy. I mean, this thing really flies fast. 
this thing really really flies and flies and this airplane wants to fly it has cold air intake has nice three blade MT prop 260 horsepower engine and well all bells and whistles of the RV10 airplane including G900 Garmin setup which well I liked very much I did some pictures so when I go to do my avionics I may be <laughs> I may be sharing some information uh, from that and I want to say thank you very much to Mark who gave me a ride today and uh, yeah that's amazing person who who took me first time in my life in RV10 in the skies and I'm so impressed 